Welcome to Lavelle Clater's Projects with a Purpose. In this episode, we will create a sign-in, sign-out sheet using Microsoft Excel. You will build your expertise learning 17 skills ranging from adding text to formatting tables. Want to know when I post a new video? Please click the subscribe button below. Let's begin. If you would like to follow along with me, please open Microsoft Excel and please be sure to save your file as sign in, sign out sheet. We will begin in the upper left hand corner of the spreadsheet area. Click in cell A2 and type your program name. Don't worry if it looks like the word is spilling over. We will fix that later. Right now, let's focus on entering your data. Click in cell A3 and type summer 2019. Click in cell A4 and type front desk daily sign in sheet. Let's click in cell D5 and type the words today's date. Let's move back to our left and click in cell A7 and type the hashtag number. The shortcut for this is shift and three on your keyboard. We will continue to move to the right in row seven. Click in cell B7 and type the word student name. Click in cell C7, type the word grade. Click in cell D7, type the word time in. And click in cell E7 and type parent forward slash guardian signature. Now we will move back to the left side of the spreadsheet area and click in A8 and type the number one. Underneath that, we will click in cell A9 and type the number two. Please be sure to save your work by clicking on File and Save, or you can use your keyboard and hold down Control and press S. Now let's begin formatting. Let's merge, center, bold, and change the size of the program name. Select or click in cell A2 Hold your mouse down and pull to the right and stop at E2 and let your finger up. Go to the alignment group in the home tab and click the merge and center button. Let's go to the font group and click the bold command button and let's go to the font size drop down menu and choose 18. let's do the same thing to summer 2019. click in cell a3 hold your mouse down pull to the right and stop at e3 and let your finger up Go to the alignment group and click the merge and center button. We will go to the font group and click the bold command button and go to the font size drop down arrow and choose size 18. Let's use the Format Painter for the Front Desk Daily Sign-In Sheet. This is a quicker way for you to be able to 
make the same changes without making a lot of steps. Let's select summer 2019 and we will go to the clipboard command group and click the format painter. As you move your mouse down to A4, you will notice a plus sign and a paintbrush following you. Click cell A4. As you noticed, it made all of the changes without doing all of the steps. Let's click in cell E5 and add a bottom border. Let's go to the font group, then to the borders drop down menu and choose bottom border. Let's select cells A7 through E7 and make them bold by going to the font command group and click the B for bold command button. Now let's add our student number rows by selecting A8 and A9. Move your mouse to the bottom right corner of A9 to show the fill handle. You will see a very thin plus sign, which is your crosshair. Click and hold your mouse and pull down the screen, you will notice faint numbers appearing. Stop at the number 20. Let's begin formatting our table. Select cell A7 across to E7 and down to E27. We will go to the Styles Command Group, click the down arrow on the Format as Table and choose Table Style, Light Blue, Table Style, Light 20. Be sure to click My Table Has Headers and click OK. Let's begin resizing the columns so that all of our data will fit. Select column A, go to cells command group, click the format down arrow, choose column width and type in the number five and click OK. Select column B, Go to Cells Command Group, click the Format down arrow, choose Column Width, and type 40, and click OK. Select Column C and D. Go to the Cells Command Group, click the Format down arrow, choose Column Width, and type the number 10. Click OK. In the last one, select column E, go to Cells Command Group, choose the Format Down Arrow, select Column Width and type 40 and click OK. Let's do a quick preview. Go to File and Print. If your setup is in Portrait, Let's change it to landscape. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and remove the grid lines. Click the view tab, go to show command groups and remove the check on grid lines. Now let's go to the bottom of the screen and click your tab. Right click your tab, choose rename, 
and type front desk sign in and then click back into your spreadsheet. Let's go back to the tab, right click to make a copy, click move or copy, then click move to the end, click create a copy and click OK. Go to cell A4 and change the word in to out. Go to cell D7, change the word in to out. Go down to your tab, right click, and change the name to front desk sign out and click save. I hope this training was helpful. See you next time. Thank you for viewing Lavelle Clater's Projects with a Purpose. For more training videos, please see the description below. Please remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment or suggestion, and always share.